Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to a mining hardware channel. Um, we are uh, doing a test on a riserless motherboard and a closed box. Uh, we will test all the results and uh, see the results. Stay tuned. Uh, hey, hey, hey guys, so welcome back to a mining hardware channel. and. Uh, we are back with a new video series um, for <laughs> yeah mining mining tutorial or what you want to call it. And uh, we will be testing out some uh, uh, riserless motherboard from BioStar. Um, see if it's any good, you know, um, uh, to use. Um, and because uh, lately there was a uh, few few of you guys seen the uh, pictures I post with this motherboard. And uh, some of you had an issue to uh, connect this uh, motherboard, um, but yeah. So I, I have I have it uh, connected, you know. And this this was running. I tested for two weeks, and uh, and yeah, seems seems good enough. But yeah, let's go in and uh, see uh, what's in this box. Um, so this is the motherboard, which is here here. It is Biostar um, TB250 uh, BTC D Plus. It comes with the um, eight PCI uh, PCI slots uh, X16, so it means you can connect the uh, you can connect the uh, straight in the motherboard, the graphics cards. Um, so you can see it here. Um, it has a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And uh, these uh, uh, six-pin socket powers up the graphics cards, and these uh, also these are, um, comes from the uh, the power supply. Um, it does use um, DDR4 RAM uh, from laptop, so SO DDR4 RAM. Uh, you can use the Intel uh, uh, CPU uh, 1151. It has here written on LGA 1151, and um, and yeah, that's that's basically all what you need to know. Um, it does have an HDMI port also on the motherboard, and it has four-pin CPU connection, uh, which is actually like when you power the motherboard, there's another four-pin uh, CPU. So you need to uh, two male uh, four-pin cables. So from this, you feed the the uh, CPU. I will show you now how it's connected. So yeah, we have here connected uh, eight Sapphire Pulse RX 570s, four gigabyte cards. Um, so you can see this motherboard is uh, in the box um, this way. Yeah, as you can see. Um, this is not, not a special box. I had this in, in warehouse. Um, you probably would need a closed box, I would say so, because the graphics card uh, slots is very close and there's nearly no gaps between them. So um, you need some probably closed box and uh, use the Delta fan, fans to suck out the hot air and uh, um, get in the cool air. Uh, but it's, that's a whole different story. We will get to that. Um, I will show you the test results. It's, it's quite good um, when it's in closed box. So you can see I'm using the DDR4 RAM I'm, and I'm using the Intel Celeron G3930 CPU. And here's the, the CPU cable I was talking about, which comes from the motherboard from here and connects in here into the CPU. Um, yeah, we are using a Bitmain uh, a power supply, which we use to power up the mining rig. Um, seems like it's working um, okay. There wasn't any issues. Um, that's a one good thing, you know, we can easily uh, use the server PSU when it's in such close box. It has four uh, Delta fans, 6,000 RPMs. Um, so there's a little bit of wind and noise uh, when this mining room is on. Um, you'll see it yourself. I probably will go and uh, turn on um, it now. Yeah, but just before I turn on, so so this, this side of uh, motherboard is the incoming power, which comes from the power supply. And uh, these are um, two feed uh, the graphics card, so you need a, a six-pin male, and then if you have 
eight pin connection on your graphics cards. You can see it. It's a six pin to eight pin um, connection to um, power up your graphics card. Yeah. So you have for each graphics card one uh, one connection. So you need also adapters. And this is not included into the uh, motherboard uh, packaging, which is uh, very strange. You know they should have been in included that. Also the the uh, the mail to mail uh, four pin C uh, CPU cable because it's not very common, and uh, you uh, cannot buy uh, in much of the places. So yeah, let's let's do. Um, I can see there is another M.2 uh, slot. So you could probably connect there another card or uh, and an acorn or something. Um, so yeah, let's let's uh, connect it to power and see uh, what uh, power usage it, it, it has and how what what's the cooling like? How how it does it really cool down if the GPUs are so close? Okay, so we are all set and uh, we are uh, mining uh, with this uh, motherboard. And uh, with this mining rig, uh, we are mining on Ivo OS, as you can see. Um, currently, it's mining at 235 mega hashes. It has eight um, RX 570s, 4 GB cards, software pulse. Um, power usage, it's slightly more as I do build in on uh, open airframes. Um, this could be, um, this could be maybe uh, because of the power supply efficiency. Uh, what I use because this is a server uh, power supply connected to the mining rig, and this might me cause might cause uh, more power usage. So it is using at the moment, as you can see from the wall, it is using um, 1,080 watts um, for eight cards, which is which is uh, not not too bad, but. Uh, But um, um, these these uh, rigs that we do use uh, and um, we do build in the, on the open airframes, um, we get the same hash rate about 235 mega hash at the power usage at uh, 950 watts with these graphics cards. Um, so it's about 100 watts more. Um, I assume also it's because um, there's these uh, four. Um, Delta fans on the front of it, uh, which uh, use more power, of course, and uh, this is also a cause why it's using um, uh, more power. And many of people saying online that this motherboard will use less power because um, there's uh, no razors, uh, but it's not true. As you can see, it's slightly using more. Um, you can see the temperature is quite good. Um, we are running the fan speed to uh, zero. Um, so the, the fans on the graphics card doesn't spin and we get the cards uh, cooled down uh, by just a simple um, airflow through the, uh, this uh, closed case. So this is the one of the benefits. And, uh, and you can see the, the uh, uh, temperatures uh, for the uh, graphics cards at the highest is 65 Celsius, which is not bad. Um, yeah, it's quite high, but it's not too bad. Um, the yeah, this is the one of the benefits that uh, you don't need to turn uh, the fan speed on the graphics cards. You can cool down with the uh, airflow, which is going through the uh, uh, miner, and this way you save up some fans. Or also, you can use uh, 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 graphics cards which are without the fans. I assume they are much cheaper, but I'm not sure. I I haven't used them um, and I haven't got any pricing for them, but I assume they should be uh, cheaper, which are especially for mining. Um, so yeah, if you could save up money that way, maybe uh, maybe 20, 30 euro per card uh, to not have the fans on them, uh, if you're just using for mining, it's a great idea. Um, yeah, to save up uh, the, the building costs, but that's what, that's what you want in mining. You want your rig as cheap as possible and you want to get your return of investment as fast as possible. Um, the other benefit is that um, for these motherboards that you don't need any uh, um, risers um, to use. And uh, 
you know yourself, you know, if you're building a rigs, a lot of times these are, um, are risers um, are faulty and uh, sometimes a lot of them, sometimes very little, um, they do get faulty sometimes after a, a while. But yeah, that's, that's another benefit um, uh, for this. Um, another one you can easily use in a, a server PSU. You don't need any extra uh, connections. You just use the six point connections which you uh, power up the motherboard and uh, the rest uh, connects from the motherboard. Um, that's probably it from the, from the benefits uh, to use this motherboard. Um, yeah, the, the minus is probably is uh, um, the biggest one is the, uh, the PCIe slots is very close. Um, it's even too close. Um, like the motherboard is, uh, is it's, 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 it's quite long and uh, you know, uh, if we could uh, fit all the graphics cards uh, with normal spacing, like the case I have, it's, the motherboard length is about 50 centimeters. And if there was a, a 50 centimeter length, there would be probably maybe a centimeter or two gap between the graphics cards. But in this case, they are very close. And even like when you turn on, uh, you can break the fans. You know, sometimes the fans even crush um, other graphics card. Um, what else? Uh, you need a special casing, yeah. This, I don't think it would work if you use all eight uh, PCI slots. Uh, this uh, won't work. Um, in open air case because uh, just these graphics cards is too, the, the PCI slots are too close and uh, the graphics cards will um, overheat and uh, yeah that's probably it um, there is probably more uh, benefits than, uh, than there is not um, yeah and also I want to tell I, I had this up and running for two weeks and there's uh, there's no issue, you know, the, the rig didn't switch off or anything. Um, but anyways, you know, most of all rigs which you build doesn't switch off. So I, I can't really tell, you know. Um, you know, somebody uh, need to test it out and uh, they, they, they might have a different result. But yeah, anyway, it's working stable, stable enough and uh, I do like it. Um, just need a special occasion for these, uh, these motherboards. Um, yeah, this was the, this was the re review on the BSR TB uh, 250 uh, BTC at D+. Um, thank you for watching uh, Mining Hardware channel. And um, yeah, leave a comment down below um, if you have any other questions about this build. Um, or if you have any issues or you don't know how to put it together. I think I made it made, uh, clear enough. Um, we all also do have a Discord channel mining hardware discord channel so you can come on and join and uh, we can chat about there about mining hardware and uh, um, other other issues and how to optimize your mining rigs um, yeah if you found value from this uh, do share with your friends um, hit the like button if you haven't done that yet and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss uh, new mining hardware uh, videos so yeah guys thanks for tuning in um, see you on the next video bye